What's going on YouTube? Today we are back with another video. Today we have some Air Jordan 6 DMPs. Um, this is the retro from, I believe, two years ago. It was two years ago these came out. Um, if you guys know the original pack with the 6s and the 11s, like, I've always wanted that pack, but it's so expensive. But they came out with these, and I was excited for them, but they're pretty much like a GR. Like, everybody had them, so that kind of killed it for me. But we have these in hand today. You see these are in, like, really, not even, like, really bad, but... It definitely could be cleaned up a little bit on this pair of hair. There's some extra stuff there, so it's pretty bad. Um, luckily, the midsoles are intact. The paint is okay and all that. I'm going to have to ice the soles, do some detail on that. But overall, this shouldn't be too hard, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, so to begin this cleaning, I'm going to be using some rejuvenator with a tad bit of Dawn Dish detergent. I put, like, like a really small amount. And I'm going to be using a medium textured brush. And I'm just going to start from the tongue and just make my way around the entire shoe. Alright, so now we've got the uppers all nice and cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my stiff texture brush. And then I'm going to begin cleaning up the midsoles and the outsoles as well. Alright, so all of the cleaning is now finished, you guys can see. You can actually see the yellowing a lot more clearly now. The bottom is going to need some detailing before you go in and yellow that. But I'm just going to go ahead and let these dry, and we'll further assess them after. Alright guys, so from this angle, you guys already know it's going to go down next. But before we do that, we're going to use some Q-tips and some acetone to go ahead and just clean up the holes inside. So that when we do ice them, everything is nice and clean already and can give it the maximum strength. So I'm just going to clean every one of these holes with the Q-tips. It's going to take a while, but as you can see, it's worth it. And then I'm going to rub down the soles with some acetone and cotton rounds. And then we can go ahead and begin the icing process. Alright guys, so at this point, I'm just going to use some black paint to go ahead and touch up the areas. Where there's a little bit of paint fading, so like right here above the gold. You guys can see there, I'm just going to go ahead and touch that up. You guys can see it covers that pretty nicely. I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing this here on the shoe until we have every part touched up. Alright, so now that we've made all the minor touch-ups and cleaned everything up nice, the last thing we're going to do is going to use some Angela Smink oil to go ahead and rejuvenate the new buck. So I'm just gonna spray this around it. I'm just gonna use my soft texture brush to go ahead and just brush it all in. And this pretty much just rejuvenates the material and also waterproofs it. So it gives it that nice look and feel once again. Alright guys, so the shoes are completely finished. Everything is nice and clean again. Soles are nice and iced up again. We didn't get them fully back, obviously, because of the wear, but pretty much brought them a lot back from how they looked before. Um, the new buck is nice and clean and fresh. Everything is nice and rejuvenated. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.